so I'm supposed to drop everything I'm doing because there's a, a YouTube title that I saw briefly and then like go out, try to find a place to buy a the microphone. Problem, the problem is, then, is that there's not then, an inkling of shame in your brain to think, the, oh, f I feel bad. What do you I mean? I'm sitting, I do I feel, feel bad. Shame I, I, that I literally slandered someone. It's unfortunate. Well, it doesn't come yeah. Out. Let me read chat a little bit. What are you guys saying here? Predators in Paris, selective work ethic, lazy Ludwig. Well, here's the pedos in Paris. Well, here's the thing. All right, so for some reason, it's been kind of a trend recently to complain to commentary channels that they're not reporting on the news quick enough. Not sure why, but regardless, today is no different. Now, the last time I made a video on a Cheeto, it was about a year ago, and that was like one of the worst scripted videos I had on this channel. But this time, it's going to be different. Now, I already know, since I'm talking about a significantly larger channel than mine, that it's going to have a bunch of fanboys flood into my comments saying some stupid shit. And I would just like to clarify because i already know what the comments are gonna say oh rinse you're a clout chaser you're a hater just like with the penguin zero comments it's gonna be the same situation and i would just like to clarify i'm not a hater of a cheeto by any means but at the same time he's not exempt from criticism just like how penguin zero isn't exempt from criticism even though i'm sub to him on this channel we try to keep things a little fair and with that all being said let's go ahead and get into the drama now i'd just like to go ahead and shout out this channel right here because he's how i got the inspiration to make this video i actually didn't even know this drama Drama existed until I saw his video talking about it. So yeah, shoutouts to him. And now let's go ahead and talk about the drama. So if you guys don't know recently, Achito called out Ludwig for not reporting on the whole Ava Chris Tyson situation sooner. Now, Ludwig was overseas in Paris with his family on vacation. Now, for some reason, Ludwig taking a break for two days and spending time with his family on vacation in Paris somehow got spun around as Ludwig silently defending Mr. Beast and Ava Chris Tyson and him being a and this is according to a Cheetos chat, a pedophile. Predators in Paris, selective work ethic, lazy Ludwig. Well, here's the pedos in Paris. Right, so it's been seven days. This video is blowing up. You can't really ignore it. Everyone on the internet knows what's going on. And people who usually talk about allegations and things of this sort, very serious situations have been noticeably silent on this. And like the way that people have been ignoring this has been, to me, a big sign of maybe a few things that one, people, big influencers specifically, don't want to blackball themselves from Mr. Beast. They don't want to burn the Mr. Beast bridge. They understand that by attacking someone who's been so largely associated with the Mr. Beast brand that perhaps they would be doing themselves a disservice, that it would be inconvenient for their business relationship with Mr. Beast as an influencer or what could be a business relationship. I said, hey, at Ludwig, are you planning on covering the definitive predatory behavior that Chris Tyson has engaged in? You've made videos talking about Dr. Disrespect immediately after the information came out. It gets 1.5 million views. Very good. Good job. Hey, hey, Ludwig, great stuff, bro. Bro, really good shit here. So glad you came to this person's defense. But then, you know, three weeks ago, Dr. Disrespect gets outed for being a creep messaging minors. And we have two videos, 13 minutes each, talking about Dr. Disrespect. The truth comes out. Point is, right, these are, this is 26 minutes of content on a streamer who did something inappropriate with a minor. And you have a lot of those same, there's, there's a remarkable amount of overlap with what happened with Chris Tyson and yet there's a different response from Ludwig. Ludwig had this to say to me. My video literally came out two days after Charlie's not, not immediately after information came out. Well, two days after to me, that's that's still, you know, somewhat. You, you're kind of in a hurry to get the info out. Statement on Twitter and on stream and his removal from Midnight Society. I'm literally in Paris with my family. Why y'all motherfuckers so horny for a statement? Ludwig, I think it's your job to report on situations like this as you've proven. It's literally what you do. You did the Dr. Disrespect thing. I'm horny for a statement because I want some consistency with you. All right, now there's a lot we got to break down here. So let's just go ahead and start with the first thing, which is Ludwig apparently trying to, you know, not damage the business relationship between him and Mr. Beast. Now, look, if you have more than five brain cells, you'd understand that as controversial as Mr. Beast is right now, if you brought your brand and business closer to him, it would basically be game over. So this whole argument that Ludwig is secretly defending Mr. Beast and Ava Chris Tyson just for the sake of a better business relationship really makes no fucking sense. And then Achito's other argument is, oh, this is Ludwig's job. He's supposed to do this. He's supposed to report the news on time. He's supposed to be consistent. It's like you do realize he's on vacation with his family, right? You do realize it's not as simple as just, oh, make a video while you're on vacation. And I already know what some people are about to say. Rince, why are you ignoring the fact that Ludwig has already made videos on vacation before? And you know what? Let's go ahead and humor that argument for a second. Let's go ahead and entertain that. I don't think that you're, you're going to try to make it sound weird. Like, Oh, I'm just doing my own thing in Paris and you guys want me to do my fucking job? Why are you guys so horny for a statement? I felt like it wasn't a valid excuse because you were saying, oh, I was on vacation, bro. I'm saying it's not a valid excuse. You're still making well, I can't watch videos. a video on an airplane. You're still, but you're, I had enough time to record and upload new commentary videos. 
No. This was this was uh, this is this is. You said that you were recording commentary videos on your vacation. That's why I established. Yeah, at that. VidCon. No. This, this this yeah at VidCon. Not not during this other this. Okay, so I went from VidCon to another place. At this place, I have no mic. I have no internet, and my fucking thing is the, what do you, what do you call it? Cell service is like in the shitter. That's different. That's like vacation, but I can't. I'm not able to like. Yeah, you know, I I only get cell service when I'm like outside of this Airbnb that I'm at, and then I see like a critical thing, and it's 3G. You know, I click on the video. It's just the ring of death loading. I can't keep up on it a thousand percent. I've literally seen this guy make videos traveling like all the time and I'll prove it to you this whole like I'm on vacation thing is like like what like buddy I've seen you post content while you're on the road before and so like it's just like what why even bring that up if we can we can prove that it's not something that would stop you from covering this, you know? Let me find a video, for example. I believe it was a few months ago. Okay, here we go. Off rip, I have to apologize for the setup, but it's the best I can do because I'm on vacation in France celebrating- So he's in France. So he's probably in Paris. This was seven months ago. This isn't like an excuse if we can go back here and literally prove that you've made videos. He could do the same thing. Hey guys, apologize for the setup. I'm in France, but here's the Chris Tyson situation. He did the same thing for Pokemon. Let's keep the same energy. Where's the energy? Where is it? I'm noticing a lack of it from a lot of people. Hey, we can utilize that excuse because we can all agree the Pokemon cookies thing is way less of a, of a situation than Chris Tyson's predatory behavior. So you'd think the exception for him would be like, so let me not do that again for a situation that's much more serious. Make it make sense. I don't understand that. Make it make sense gladly he's on vacation with his family also something i find ironic is a cheeto can have every excuse in the book when it comes to not uploading a video on vacation but then when it comes down to ludwig then it's oh okay well ludwig he has no excuses you know what i mean okay sure he's in you know paris with his family his wife and kid but ludwig has no excuses because he did a video like eight months ago talking about pokemane's cookies it's like a cheeto you do realize that not every vacation is going to be the exact same not everything is going to go down the exact same way you do realize that right not sure why hypocrisy has been such a trend recently but hey it is what it is anyways that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this video make sure to check out the discord server link in description also i'm gonna need all of you to lock in and make sure to like this video if you did enjoy make sure to leave a comment because i already know the cheeto fans they're not gonna like this one this is probably gonna be like the penguin zero drama all over again where i'm gonna get bomb dislike so make sure to like the video for the algorithm comment help boost it and yeah that's about it for this video peace